So do you see the title of this video? I'm republishing a different version with more explanation. <clears throat> this is actually silent video, but we, we know that we only see one side of the moon uh, ever. But somehow with the uh, NASA uh, space missions, they've gotten both sides and they've been able to create this uh, full rotation of the moon. So the mysterious backside of the moon is here. So why would UFOlogists, so many of them of great uh, importance, claim that the moon is actually a gigantic spaceship a la Star Trek Enterprise with, I think if, if I'm recalling, uh, so let's say 30 different species of extraterrestrials from all over the universe. Well, let's, I gotta start the video again, sorry about that. It's only a minute long, but so look at the, look at these lights on the moon. If the moon is, is, is a nothing thing, where are these lights coming from? Those, those can't be reflections of the sun, right? Um, if you, if you do a Google search, um, satellite view of the earth at night, what you'll see is that there, it's remarkably similar, uh, this view of the moon and what you see of the earth at night from satellite view. And you have the, all the areas of earth that are lit up and they're cities, right? Now the famous, uh, U UFOologist, John Lear, whose father, uh, founded Lear Jet. Um, he's my hero. He, he deceased a couple of years ago, but uh, he says that um, um, basically they run everything. You know, we talk about the hidden hand. Uh, let's go back here now. Um, he says that there's about 500 million inhabitants of the moon, but all different species. But the unfortunate thing is that the dominant ones are the bad ones, the reptilians from the constellation Draco. He referred me to, <clears throat> pardon me, a um, YouTube channel, which I want to refer you to, and then I'll close this. You know, brevity can be a virtue. There's more to say, actually, but we'll see if we want to get into that. But anyway, so Bruce sees all on YouTube. Bruce, second word is sees all. He has a 14-inch telescope up in Montreal and every night he trains it on the moon. You can see in his videos, see if I can dig it up and post. Um, you can see buildings, you can see clouds, you can see forests on the moon, clouds and forests on the moon. You can see UFOs taking off and landing. Um, I joked with a friend of mine, um, it was just a joke. I said, there's, there's even beautiful women on the moon. <laughs> right? which I think that there are, right? But I haven't seen the proof. Anyways, um, is there something else I wanted to mention? But let's just close out. How do you, you watching, explain these lights? The, 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 uh, if you Google satellite view of the earth, the earth looks just like it and the lights are cities. Thank you for watching.